Welcome to the Carnival Mardi Gras. Today we are up in the marketplace for some breakfast to start our day. The ship is in port. We're in Nassau, Bahamas. And today is special fun because we are going to be doing a bit of a challenge on board. For those of you who have dietary restrictions, who are perhaps a vegetarian or vegan, or you have a gluten intolerance, we're going to be doing a fun challenge where we are only attempting to eat gluten-free throughout the ship today. The only trouble is, is that we are not necessarily picky eaters and we don't have a gluten intolerance so we're not super familiar with it but we're going to do our best to show you what's on the buffet and everything with the different type of options throughout the entire day so we'll see how we uh -huh. fare you ready for some breakfast mm -hmm. <laughs> yes hello oh, no thank you she's trying to feed me already is it gluten free i don't know Thank you so much to our sponsor today, MEI Travels, for sponsoring this video. If you guys need any help booking your next cruise vacation, be sure to check them out in the description box below. The email is there for you to email them to book your next cruise vacation. Let's start the day. Let's take a look at everything is offered for breakfast. Loads of bacon. We have oatmeal scrambled eggs, broiled eggs, salmon benedict, ooh, hard boiled eggs, potatoes, french toast, ooh, strawberry compote, ooh, pancakes. So none of this stuff had uh, the allergy on the labels here. So this was a little bit harder. <laughs> Looks like it's all the same on this side as well. They're not making it easy for me. There's no cheat sheet label on these. So I'm thinking I can't have pancakes or French toast, which I enjoy having. I just Googled potatoes. Apparently potatoes are okay. <laughs> More eggs. Let's take a look over here. I'm just gonna take a stab and say I probably can't eat any of these if I'm trying to be gluten free. Uh, those banana breads look really good though. Chocolate muffin, apple danish, croissants, and then like the deli bar here with some fruit. That looks good. And then we do have two different omelet stations, one here, one there, so they can make some uh, tasty, sorry, some tasty omelets for you. So we have bread, and then you can tell them everything that you want on your omelet. This might very well be harder than I had expected. <laughs> Are we gonna go hungry on a cruise ship? I hope not. So I grabbed some bacon, which he put a lot of bacon on my plate there. The potatoes, the fruit, and then this is some banana bread, which I know is not gluten free, but I grabbed that for Valencia. So that's how I fared with finding some stuff that's for sure uh, gluten free and I tried. This morning we needed a little extra coffee so we headed down to Grand Central here right across Grand Central in this area. We have some new changes luggage gate tag area so here we have different early boarding times and late boarding zones so depending on when you want to get off the ship with your checked luggage you can grab one of these tags and the different numbers are the early or late zones so we'll go ahead and grab some and it's important to try and get here early I guess so you don't uh, miss an early zone if you need to get off the ship and catch a flight. One thing I wished was different was the buttons of the elevator. Kind of strange that they are right over here on the side instead of right in the front. Hello Raphael!
can do it, Alana. Just let go. Just sit. That's what I did. Just sit down. And now go. Daddy, go. Go. How was it? Get me off, get me off. My hands are shaking. I have like white knuckles right now. Ah, that was tough. Was that scary? A lot of fun. It was fun, I'm glad I did it. Good for the experience, but it was a little nerve wracking. And um, I did the plank, oh my God, I conquered it. Oh, wow, I, I said I would never do that again, but I did it. Michelangelo, show me what you got. All right, let's see
So our entrees have come. We ordered some side broccoli and mashed potato for Valencia to get started, along with our shrimp and a Caesar salad. So let's get started. It took a few minutes to get some bread as well, and now the entrees. So we're hungry. Our entrees have arrived. I got the salmon with potatoes and broccoli. Get your veggies, kids. Eat your veggies. Valencia likes her broccoli too. And then Raphael has his filet, right? <laughs> filet with potatoes. Yum, yum. All right, we have the baked Alaska and two chocolate ice cream scoops with a chocolate melting cake. Woohoo! Dive in. Let me know how is it? What's the verdict? I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Love the different neighborhoods throughout the Mardi Gras. One change here that is different is at Carnival Kitchen. Currently, they have the chef's table located here. So if you wanted to participate in a, one of the cooking classes, your cooking classes are actually offered during the day so that they can have a chef's table later in the evening. This is due to the COVID protocols and they wanna make sure that everyone stays safe. So they've temporarily located the chef's table here instead of in the galley. And if you are in a dining venue and you don't have your phone and you don't want to use any of these QR codes that are available here, you can always ask for a hard copy menu and the waitstaffs will be happy to help assist. They have printouts available as well. Well, it's that time to get off the ship. 
They've called our bag tag number and uh, we just had breakfast in the marketplace. That's one of the waiting stations when it's time to get off the ship. So we've had a fantastic cruise, really amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching the series and until next time, ciao for now.